One of the things I always say in my lessons in my golf schools that you can have the greatest swing in the world, but when you get to the golf course, if you cannot align to your target, if you align right the way most right-handers do, uh, then you're going to be struggling always to get that ball back to the target and it's going to impact your swing path. Absolutely no question. So we're going to show you today the first part of alignment. And the first part of alignment is pretty simple. It's just figuring out which hand to hold the club in. In our original biomechanics uh, lab uh, study at Dr. Job's lab at Sentinella, we had a vision study and we, we, one of the things we discovered is that when you're in balance, your visual perception of lines is accurate and many things go into being in, being in balance. So uh, one of them is obviously stance width, the other posture, but also you want to make sure that you're square uh, in whatever position you are. So Aki's going to help me out here. Aki wants you to uh, straddle this. We've just put an alignment stick down. If you'll just straddle that stick with both feet and find balance. <clears throat> okay. Now the easiest place to do this is to put the alignment stick into a corner. Uh, but it's tough for us to set the camera up to show you. So we're going to show you, if you can imagine this being into a corner and you're facing the corner dead on. Okay, Aki, I want you just to close your eyes and rotate your sh shoulders back and forth slowly and just let them stop any time and just relax. Now, when you look straight down, open your eyes, look straight down, which way is that alignment stick going? Is it going through the right side of your body, the left, or centered? Pretty centered. Pretty centered? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put this in your right hand. Now, how does it look when you look down? Is it still centered? Mm -hmm. Now, put it in your left hand. How's that look? Looks like it's hitting my right side of the body. Okay, put the club back in the right hand. So, where this line looks straight to you is where is the hand you're going to hold the club in. And by the way, we look at a lot of different things like uh, stance width, grip size. Your stance width will change if your body mass changes. Which hand you hold the club in will change if you're starting to do a good bit of work, work on your core. You want to check this at least once a month uh, because it's going to be the key to alignment. So when you're reading a putt on the green, you want that, that uh, putter in the right hand. Uh, and you want to line up the ball with the right hand. I'll show you another way to check this. Aki, if you would uh, come over and I'm going to put the uh, club in behind the ball and how easy it is to line up uh, your ball. Aki, go ahead and squat down as though you're ready to aim that. You'll notice here, if I were to put a club across Aki's shoulders here, he is very square right now. Now, Aki, do you do everything right-handed? Yes. Okay, now what I want you to do is just move the putter over to the left hand. I'm sorry, the right hand. Now start to line it up with the left. And you'll see how his shoulders now rotated. So he's, his visual perception of that line is going to be off, and his shoulders just rotated to the right. So Aki, back to the back uh, to the right hand to line it up. And now you can see how square he is. U.S. Open champion Sandra Palmer. Sandra won 19 events worldwide, and we've been having a discussion here about which hand uh, that you're going to use to line up the ball if you have the club in the left hand. And Sandra just informed me that you use the left hand. Is that correct? Yes, when I line up my long game, the club's in my left hand. Okay, well let's let's double check it. So come around here on this end. <clears throat> let's go through what we just took Aki through, and I want you to put look down at that at that rod. Let's put the club in the left hand. Now, how does that look when you look down? Good. Perfect. Okay, I'll put it in the right hand. I just saw your body move, yeah. Your shoulder now, what does it look like? That's the other thing. You'll feel your shoulders rotate. Hips and everything. Uh, everything rotated. Okay. Now, we're going to check. Let's, let's see what you do. So you've been lining the ball up with your right hand, huh? Yes. Okay. Let's, go, let's have you go ahead and go square to this line as though you're putting that way to line up your ball. And go ahead and squat down and let's see, you aim, uh, let's see what your shoulders look like when you go down. Now your shoulders, Sandra, can you feel they just rotated to the left, by yes. the way? You can? They went that way. Yeah. Now, move the putter to the right hand, and now line it up with the left. Now, how's that feel? Well, I feel like I'm close now. Yeah. I mean, I'm, that's probably because I'm square. Okay. How's that feel? Different. <laughs> well, can you see, do you notice your vision is any different, by the way? To feel uh, any more? Yes. 
Is it more comfortable? Well, it's a little awkward because I'm... You're right hand? I'm, yeah, you're in right hand, but I... You feel it? No wonder I've been missing those points. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back so, to the right hand. I want you to feel the difference here. Okay, yeah, I went, th I went that way. Yeah, you see your shoulders are no longer square, and now you're square. <gasps> it's a miracle. And you'll be able to line it up now. And so if you, re if you hold the club in the left hand behind the ball, you're going to use the left hand to line up your punts. Thank you, Sandra. You bet. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was interesting.